And welcome back. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good to be here. All right. Uh, you've got a workshop coming up. We're going to, we'll mm -hmm. just actually talk about that. We're going to give you those dates once again yeah. at the end of the show so you can write it down and you yeah, won't miss absolutely. it. Absolutely. Got a good topic for you today. You yeah. ready for this question? This yep. is very cool. All right. Here is the topic today. I have recently purchased my first home and I keep receiving bi weekly mortgage payment information in the mail encouraging me to enroll in the program to accelerate the payoff on my mortgage. Is that a good plan or not? Because sometimes you get these things in the mail and you go, mm, I don't know if I can trust it. Yep. I don't know if it, and that may be a whole other question. Well, but, you know, typically when you buy a house, you're going to get a lot of life insurance stuff in the mail. And now oh, yeah. these mortgage things, and everybody's trying to give you a better spin on it, right? Well, you know, I mean, it's always good to get out of debt. Sure. Right? Yes. I mean, you know, as fast as possible. But when you buy a house, that's a long term commitment. Mm -hmm. So we put an example up today about this couple. They, they, they bought basically a quarter million dollar house, they financed 200000 And so when you're looking at the example, the, uh, the payment is $775 a month, mm -hmm. all right? Now, instead of making a regular monthly payment, if they would pay that every two weeks, effectively what they're doing is paying 387 bucks every two weeks. It might be easier to budget, maybe for some people, a more structured type plan, but mm -hmm. effectively they, they pay 26 uh, payments in a year. So they're basically one extra payment. Right. right now, when you look at the numbers, you know a regular payment they're going to pay ninety three hundred bucks a year. Uh, the other one they're going to pay ten thousand because they're paying the extra amount mm -hmm. effectively. But when you look at the terms, it's going to save them four years and two months, and it's basically going to save them nineteen thousand dollars over the life of that loan. Now, there's a couple of things you got to consider. Sometimes these bi-weekly mortgage payment structures that they offer, sometimes they charge a fee. If they do, right. I'd shy away from that. Hmm. Uh, sometimes you're locked into them. Once you're in it, you've got to stick with it. So if times get tough and you've got to spread your payment out to mm -hmm. just a month, it might throw a burden on you. So I would rethink that Read the fine print. before I would yeah. do that. So there's better ways to do it. Now, if you take the concept and do it on your own, mm -hmm. you can take an extra 65 bucks a month, pay it against your principal, and just add that to your 775, and effectively you're doing the exact same thing, or once a year you get your tax return back, make one extra mortgage payment at that time, and you're gonna basically do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, if you have PMI, you know, mm -hmm. if you're, this might accelerate the reduction of debt and it might eliminate your PMI payment sooner than later. PMI so, being private mortgage private insurance? Private mortgage insurance yeah. if you've overfinanced due to a lack of a down payment or right. whatever. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of advantages to reducing debt. Mm -hmm. How you mm -hmm. do it, I, I like the idea of staying in control and yes. doing, making my own choice rather than opting into a program that I might not be able to opt out of. Well, I know a lot of times when, when you do any kind of mortgage payment, they'll even ask, do you want to put anything extra on principal? Mm -hmm. Do you want to put any extra, you know, escrow, whatever it might be? Yeah. This way you just handle it yourself. Yeah. And you if know, you have a lean month, you, you pull back. You don't have to worry right. about it. You yeah. know, a lot of people are making online payments now. They yeah. don't write checks. Me, I. I, I've got a couple of them on automatic, mm -hmm. but I like to write checks. It's just an old school way of doing it. Sure. But on every coupon book, you can add a mortgage payment, mm -hmm. you can add a principal payment. On your electronic payments, all you got to do when you fill it out, you can click a normal payment on the due date, yep. or you can click a fixed amount, you can add to it, you can accelerate yeah. it. There's it's lots of it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. I like to be in control of yeah. my own destiny. And you're not paying an extra fee to anyone to That's do right. this. To do it. For That's right. You. Yeah, and Absolutely. you're not necessarily locked 